Yeah, if I can't find it, then I'm not too sure what I could do, which is a bit of a shame. And it's also very tempting to just load the quick save, because I'm pretty sure I made it right before her. <sighs> pretty sure. Fuck, if I had a handkerchief, I don't know what the hell I did with it. Maybe I stored it? Hmm. I think I may have. Oh, I sold it. It's it's one or the two. Or one or the other, even. I have sold it. Or... I, um, stored it. Mortuary. I want to go to the Gathering Dust Bar. Really, I don't know. If it is here, I think what I'll do is reload the quick save because I don't think I made one since speaking with her. Don't think so. I oh, fuck. I don't really know to be honest, but I really want to do it because it's worth a lot of experience. It should be real nice. Shit, I'm not. Look, it's not looking too great. Two plans, bag of coins, a clue. Yep, not there. Fuck! God, where could it be? I'm trying to think how I could have sold it to. At this point, I am literally just going around the world to try and find it. Where was the exit? There it is. God damn. Mm. I mean, I really hope I saved before I spoke with Kasai, otherwise, I'm going to have to go through a bit of uh, stuff that I've already gone through, but. Whatever. Done. Do I even need to speak with him? Yeah, I do. Fuck. Wait, what if I just did this? I'm here. Why not? That was easy. Huh. If only I realised I could do that sooner. Oh shit, never mind. Alright, I should have assumed. Jesus. The autosave should be okay. So I would assume it would be this one. 934. Yeah there. Because it wasn't that long ago. Whoops. I think breaking in would have, you know, turned them on me. Jeez. Either way. Open the gate. Thank you. Handkerchief. Handkerchief. I mean, I'm assuming it's, it's either a quest item or I can just literally use any sort of rag. Why can't I use a bandage? That's bullshit. Yeah, the fact I can't use a bandage or anything is a bit peculiar, if I'm being completely honest. Grint. Did I sell you it? Bandage, rag. I didn't sell him it. Fuck! I don't know. I'm, like, I'm trying to think what I could use. I'll buy one of those. Like, both of those. They're just going to be placed in my inventory. The worst part is I don't think she's going to let me do it. Because it does not seem like it's letting me. Regardless, which kind of sucks. Uh, cloak ward. Right outside the brothel. Uh if I literally need something called a handkerchief, then I have no idea where to begin. Mostly because I just don't remember ever getting a handkerchief. Questions? Yep, yeah, there's nothing. I can't. I don't think I can get it. <sighs> Bollocks. Hmm. It's not that one. I think it was this. No, this. Oh. Wait. I'm gone. Unless did I speak with her? I really don't fucking remember. Ah crap. So nothing changed here. Oh, reload.
So this was when we spoke with, gave her, I'm assuming. Oh, there we go. Brought you Grimm's Avail. Updated my journal. What's that forked tongue of yours? Blah. I'm gone. Then, did I speak with her about it? I don't know. I'm so confused at this point now. There. Are you Ravel's daughter? So I made a quick save here. At this point, I might just, I'm might tempted to just go and get a rag. Updated my journal. Approach her. Thank you. Wait, so if I speak with her now, will it still pop up with, Are you Ravel's daughter? Yeah, it does. Good. Okay. Quick save here. Quick save here. Perfect. Fucking duh. Pain in my ass. So I don't even know if a rag's gonna be good enough. I wonder if I could just buy one. Rusty dagger, he don't... Mm. Dismant robes. Whoa. Find mirror. Invokes solid exodius. Hmm, seems he does not sell any regs. God, what a pain this is. I need a handkerchief. But I don't I don't ever remember coming across something called that. That's the weirdest thing. Near the flop house, blah, blah, blah. Oh god there. Just do this again. No, I'll buy the rag and the bandage. I'll save in front of what's her face and go through all of it again. And if it doesn't work with a rag, then I'm kind of at a loss. And I'm uh, honestly not entirely sure what it wants me to do. Eh, uh, sadly. Over the gate, thank you. So glad that I have the stuff that can just let me get out of here with ease. I really wish I wasn't having to retrace my steps, but I do not want to miss out on 40,000 experience. Like, that would put me onto a new level, I think. More than likely. Thank you. And I've bought both. Duh. Let's see the clerk ward. Now we're right here again. Hmm. I'm gone. I just, I, that's the thing, I just don't know where a handkerchief could be. Yeah. Not a damn clue. Whatever. So, right, saved. You Rabel's daughter, I'll Echo told me. Who is your mother then? There's the skin and the eyes, bye. Now we can go and speak with Kamaxi. Questions? Heard that you're Kasaisa is his half sister. True. Updated my journal. Cambion, what is that? Better than half of you. All right, cool. Maybe it's fairly quick to get through, but still, depends what sort of things. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. no. I questions. There we go. She says that you. Yeah, blah blah blah. Go on. The blood most likely. I don't. Fuck! I'm sure there's one in the brothel somewhere. Bring it here when you find it. Updated I need to find a handkerchief. A piece of cloth. Unless... I don't know. Am I meant to get... It from one of the other people? That's the thing. I just don't remember ever getting a handkerchief. That's the only downside, I really don't know. What about... maybe Nenny will know. Never really thought to ask her before. Some questions. That's literally not helpful at all. Ah, <sighs> fuck. So it seems regardless, even the stuff I have currently, it's not good enough. So it's not just a regular rag, it's literally a handkerchief. 
I guess. I don't fucking know, it's stupid. Let me use a rag. Please. Hmm. Oh, we've already checked around this. Oh, that's another time that's just completely fucked. Hmm. Really trying to think where I could get one. If it's at all possible, because I have no idea. And as I say, I really don't remember ever coming across a handkerchief. Fuck, why can't it just let me use a rag or a bandage? So stupid. Hmm. I don't know. All I do know is that this is stupid. And slightly annoying. Curiosity shop. I'm just wondering if she has any sort of, you know, baby oil. Room cupboard, tattered rag doll. It's not a handkerchief. Hmm. No, I don't have a clue. I really don't have a clue. Son of a bitch. I'm just gonna do a Google. Otherwise, I'm never gonna get to... I'm never gonna find out. Ugh. I just really don't know. The thing is, I don't ever remember coming across one, and if I did, I probably sold it. In which case, I don't have a goddamn clue. Ugh. Well, no, if, if I did sell it, I'd have to just, you know, go to every single fucking merchant and try and find it. Handkerch... Yeah, we go. Handkerchief. It's a quest item, apparently. But I really... That's the thing, it's a... It's, it's a quest item, but I don't remember coming across one. They're quite common. Okay. Right, well I know where I can find one at the least. I really hope this doesn't set off a scene. But, there's one inside of Finnam's house. Apparently. I think this is Finnam's house. Done. There it is. Cool. Right, now I know what I need to do. What a pen. <laughs> well. You learn shit every day, I suppose. Which one was it? Oh god, which was it? Load this one. Right. I don't think... Charisma's 15. I don't know if that worked. I don't... Also, I don't know if this is the right one. Go for this one, I guess. Fifteen charisma. Have I spoken to Vivian about the right. her scent? Yeah, I'll just go into Finnam's house, get the handkerchief, and then get out. Ah, oh, there we go. So I ha still hadn't done that. Approach her. Thank you. Oh man, I've done that like several times now. So a handkerchief is. Oh, I don't actually have the rag or anything either. Whoops. Huh. I didn't realise a handkerchief was different from a rag. Now I know! Right, well I can close this tab then. Mm-hmm. Actually, I might keep it up just in case I need to Google other shit if I get stuck. This next, this technically wasn't even getting stuck, it was trying to find something that I didn't know where there was one. All right. It says it was in the containers of uh, the brothel, but I have no idea where. Also, I honestly think this is quicker. As weird as this might be. I honestly do think this would... this turns out to be quicker. Probably not by much, but still. Right, we have a handkerchief. I can do it. Finally. Ugh. Pain in my ass. Oh, I can finally get the 40k XP. I don't care that it's taking me a lot longer than it should have. 
because I didn't have a handkerchief. But, whatever. Oh. Yes. Shit, I don't want to speak. No, 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 what am I doing? I'm gone. I may have reloaded the wrong save. I definitely did, didn't I? Did I? Fuck! God. I don't know which one is right now. Fuck my goddamn life. Speak with Kasai. Right, I can actually say that. Ah! Uh, I'm gone. It's fucking pissing me off now. Ugh. Right, so I've already done that. Cool. So my yeah, charisma sixteen. Jesus Christ! <sighs> what are the fucking chances that the the quick save I loaded was the wrong one? I must have not spoken with Kasai then, because if I had, I would have noticed that I'd already gone over the dialogue of "You're Rafael Puzzle World's daughter, aren't you?" <sighs> I'm just going through this the worst way possible. Pretty sure. Hmm. I'm pretty sure you actually need to get this anyway. Although it's weird, because maybe not. Every other single like time I spoke about Ravel, and when she said that I oh when we told her we need her blood and she says, Do you have anything to carry it in? We say no. The entire option for saying it again disappears entirely. So if this is the key to get to Ravel's bloody maze, then you're completely fucked. Which is really... Uh, I just see, doesn't seem correct. I'm gone. Holy shit. So now I should be able to say, You're Ravel's daughter. Updated my journal. Holy shit. I'm glad this is going to be over. Questions? Updated my journal. Finally, God. Don't have dreams. There. Updated my journal. Go on, go on, go on. Comfort. I hate to ask this. Portal. Blood. Yes. Here. My 40k. Fucking finally. Kasai takes the handkerchief and gingerly pricks the tip of her finger with one of her fangs. After letting several drop. Drops of blood soak into the cloth, she returns it to you. You're placing yourself in grave danger, you know. Even if the stories of my mother are greatly exaggerated, she's horribly powerful and completely evil. Good luck. Yeah, so I've heard. Thanks and farewell. <sighs> God. Is that even worth it? Ugh, didn't put me as close to a level enough as I thought it would have. But I still got 40k, so... Can't complain. <laughs> well, That took... <laughs> like 20 fucking minutes. All because I was trying to figure out what the hell I could do. So I didn't have a handkerchief. Alright, so... Now that I've... Skills are most impressive, Dacon. Dacon. They are but specks upon Zerthamon's path. Ooh. Mm hmm. Alright. Ah. Oh. Alright, well we can finally go into Finnum's house. But, uh... It's basically, we're gonna... What is it? The Dodecahedron. Decrypt it. Decipher. Whatever word you want to use. Finnum the Linguist. So... This short, scholarly man, a tight, nervous frown on his face, looks you up and down. Greetings, I am Finnum. I must beg your pardon, sir, but I care little for guests. Invited or otherwise. So, unless you have business with me, I would ask you to leave. I have some questions. I would have you know that I am a scholar and a linguist, sir. While I shall happily entertain any questions regarding my field of study and uh, my field of study, language and the like, I can be of no help to you in other matters. Unfold the Dodecahedron to a page with writing on it and ask if he can translate it. He takes the unfolded Dodecahedron in his hands and, ex and examines it closely. This language is a long dead one, known to virtually no one. I believe my father. Well, I believe my father, a, lingu a linguist like myself, knew this language, and may well have been the only man in Sigil at the time that could understand it. I recognise it from his notes, but I cannot translate it. Do you have those notes still? Finnum shakes his head. They'll be of no use to you if you're looking to translate anything. 
and the few actual books he had pertaining to that language disappeared around the time of his murder, I believe. Your father was murdered? Hinnom nods. Strangled he was. He had left a tutor someone he taught various languages to supplement his research income, and was discovered dead in a side chamber of the Civic Fest Hall. The killer was never found. This was some, oh, perhaps 50 years ago? Now I was but a child. He knew the language, though, and could teach it? Surely he did. And were he alive today, my father was said to be a great teacher. Finham sighed sadly. I've his skill with language, but not his patience for others, sadly. Is he interred at the mortuary? My journal. Why, no. His ashes are, are kept there. He points to a bronze urn, sitting atop a cabinet beside a bouquet of purple flowers. Why, a wry smile crosses Finham's lips. A ne necroscope, are you? Speak with the dead? He suddenly frowns. No wish to speak of these things any longer. I have to excuse myself, sir. Farewell. Okay. So there's that. Hmm. So, wait, don't I have... Yeah, I've got Finham's book. I have his book. Edmog, I have some questions. I don't want to unfold the dodecahedron. I'd very much like to see them, just the same. There it is. Finnan gives an annoyed sigh. I'm not certain where they are just now, and I'm looking for something else at the moment. My research journal. Perhaps when you, I've recovered it, I could spare the time to find those notes for you. Is it this book right here? There we go. So, Finnam's eyebrows arc. Why, yes it is. He takes it from you, then begins to rummage through, the, through his pockets. Here you are then. My father's notes. Square then, are we? Good. I have to look over my notes now, so if, you, if you'll excuse me. Hmm. So there's that. So he said a bronze urn. I'm looking for it. I don't see it. Oh, there. Um. Oh, wow, I actually can. Ha! Huh. There is an urn atop this small cabinet full of ashes and charred bits of bone. Etched into the base of the urn are the words Finn and Lai, beloved husband, father, and scholar of 100 languages. New stories bones tell on the remains. The ashes seem to stir faintly as if moved by your breath, as f a faraway voice uh, whispers up from within the urn. Why? Why have I, I been summoned to these ashes, cold and grey as the heart of a hag? To answer some questions, spirit. Ask then, so that I might return to my most quiet thoughts. Who were you? I was Finn, a linguist and scholar. I was murdered, murdered by a student of mine, murdered so that I could not teach another language, another the language that I taught him, the tongue of the Uyo. It was one of the rarest in the multiverse. In the multiverse. I knew of none who spoke it, save myself and that one damnable murderous student. Describe to him the writing in the, from the folding dodecahedron, ask if he knows the language. I could teach you this language, yes. It would please me to do so, in fact, if only to spite that bloody handed student of long ago. First, tell me what languages you do speak, and what you can from the spirit. As the spirit speaks to you of the lost language of the Uyo, there is a throbbing sensation in your temples as memory begins to surface, memories of this language. You recall letters, words, phrases until like a spire wind blowing away the blanket of poisonous smog over the great foundry. The language is once more revealed to you in its entirety. Updated my journal. There is another memory though bubbling to the surface, a darker one. Its presence troubles you somehow, fills you with unease and unexplained pangs of guilt. Allow the memory to surface. Updated my journal. At last you recall Finn and Lai himself. We killed him, didn't we? Himself. You remember his gentle voice, his kind manner, his schooling you in the ancient language of the Uyo. You also remember your scarred, gnarled hand wrapped around his frail throat. Uh crushing his larynx and thus ensuring that the secret contents of your journal, hidden and thrice trapped in a dodecahedral puzzle box, and penned into the obscure language of the Uyo, would be forever saved from prying eyes. Finn, I must tell you. Ah, oh, Christ. It was me who murdered you. The spirit is silent for a time, the ashes rustling softly within their urn. When it speaks once more, its voice is full of sorrow, but why? And why would you come to me once more? Did you forget what you had been taught? No. Well, yes. It's difficult to explain, but it must have been a former self of mine that murdered you. Each time I die, I reawaken as if from long sleep, but have, having forgotten everything, who I was or what I'd done. I think I understand. I sense your regret and would forgive you. May peace be with you, people of old, and may you prove kinder in this life than 
in the one which saw an end to mine. Thanks, Finn. Farewell. Oh, wow. Yeah, we are a terrible person. Oh, we got his notes. Hmm. Oh. These are the notes. How useful. Oh, we have the bloody handkerchief, too. Right, so now we can use this and open it. So, the tablet turns out to be a journal of sorts, one kept by some prior incarnation of yourself, it would seem, and not an altogether sane one, either. There are only a handful of completely coherent sections. Browse through it. Oh boy. What do you wish to read about? Read about Whispering Shadows. The whispers are not shadows moving, they are speaking, plotting, talking to each other. I can understand some of what they say. A female ghost. The book tells me things, whispers things. It tells me to avoid the ghost girl. Avoid her, I don't know her, and she torments me. Read about hiding something within your own body. And so I swallowed it, hoping it'd ca it'd catch in, in my bowels. I can make someone remove it when I need to. Ew. Paranoid ranting? Oh Jesus. I've learned that my life is not my own. I will not allow you to have my life. You will have to pull my life from my broken body if you want it. It's you who will die if I cannot have it, neither will you. You are responsible for this treason of flesh. You will not live to live my life. Accursed tattoos? The accursed tattoos will not leave my skin. I have tried to burn them off my off of my skin. Failed, failed. I try and cloak myself. But I always feel that people are reading my flesh. Reading me like a book. Whenever they look at me, I want to tear their eyes out. Pluck them from their sockets and crush them beneath my heel. What the hell? Dreams and Ravel. Why can't I dream? I used the Goblet of Semir to force a waking dream. I saw a hag. She tempted me. Threatened me with shadows. I have never seen her, but she came when I dreamt. I must not dream again, I must always be aware I destroyed the goblet. She says she is someone of power, and that she will have me, will find me. Get away, hag, stay far away from me, or stay far from me. Leave me in peace, I want nothing to do with you. Her voice reeked of evil talons, talons like spiders. They burrowed into my grey matter, and I needed her out of my mind. Out, hag. She was a myth, a fairy tale, who alone challenged the Lady of Pain. How can one fight something, uh, someone who is a myth? I don't have the weapons, I need weapons that will kill her should she find me. I need a strategy so she cannot defeat me when she comes for me. I must advise and think, I shall beat her. Okay, so read of the danger of names. Fear names. Names have power and identity. Names can be used as weapons by others. They are a hook that can be used to track you, find you, hunt you across the plains. Remain nameless and you shall be safe. Okay. The killing of the, in the fest hall. I went to the fest hall looking for the path of my false self in, in its halls, so glaring was it, that those I did not know. The false ones welcomed me into their confidence, treating me as a friend, showed me my room, attended to my needs. I had to restrain myself from launching out against them. That would have been premature. First I needed to protect my identity. I found one who knew the exclusive language of the Uyo, learned it as I could, then killed him. Then I went to the sensorium and prepared to end the matter. Soon. Soon. Okay, read about the murder of one who tried to help you. There is nothing he can do. Memories are gone, he says, never to return. He says lies and tells me this is what he told me. Lies. He says my mind is weakening from every death. Lies. He sat there betraying my confidence with every turn. He says that only after three more deaths, three more lies, will I gain the benefit of keeping my memories, but that I myself, I will die when I die. Or I will die when I die. Die. How can one be immortal and still die? He could not answer, so he was of no use. I butchered him so that no other incarnation will ever benefit from his uselessness. What the hell? Read a cryptic answer from an unknown source. Ooh. So the ghastly head said, You have been divided. You are one of many men. One in many men. You bear many names. Each has left their scars on your flesh. Lost one, immortal one. Incarnations end. Man of a thousand deaths. The one doomed to life. Restless one, one of many. The one whom life holds prisoner, the bringer of shadows, the wounded one, misery bringer, Yemeth. You are silvered glass that has cracked and the pieces shattered across history. Only one piece is of import. Regain that and your life will be yours again. There will be a price. This price will buy you a chance. Without the chance, you are doomed. You have lost that which is never meant to be separated from man. Your mortality has been stripped from you. Lost. It exists, but you must find it before your mind is lost to you as well. So we also have... Oh, I can't do 11. Cryptic message from an unknown source. So the ghastly head said... 
I already read that. Whoops. Wait, the murderer one who tried to help you? Oh, right, yeah, the uselessness. Something about a legacy. A legacy, the note read, forget not to collect your legacy. A small code stretched, uh, scratched beside it. 51-AA. A trap, no doubt, set by yet another of my false selves. I'll see it destroyed, I will. Put away, put the journal away. Oh, well, that was fun. Hmm. Yeah, that was, that was interesting, to say the very least. Right. Also, my voice is fucking hurting. It feels really raw and uh, kind of sore, so I think I'm going to call that the end of the session, just so I don't lose my voice. I'll give myself a sore throat from talking too much. Either way, that's going to be the end of this session. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed, and until next time, take care.